guys it's been a minute i literally haven't turned on this camera in a good five six weeks i've just been busy i haven't forgotten about youtube just been busy i came back from california to arizona prior to thanksgiving and still had school um my last day of classes like official 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 last day was or like my last day to turn everything in for classes was december 18th so like and christmas was just last week so things have just been non-stop go 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 and i just haven't had time to really like vlog or do a movie commentary or anything like that because i've just been busy so i haven't forgotten about you all i'm back we'll see i see i have 60 subscribers now which is great so thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and tuning in um so yeah i thought since it's been a while i will go ahead and do a vlog for you all so um basically what's on the agenda for today nothing really it is tuesday it is cold outside it is like nothing's to do but i went to the mall yesterday to do a little bit of shopping and i bought a pair of pants from h&m and they were too small and they were the last not the last pair but the last pair that was of the size range that i would have bought pants in so i'm going to go return them back return them and get my money back because i think they were like 30 dollars um yeah they were 30 dollars so i'm getting that 30 dollars back um and then i bought these sweatpants from h&m yes i'm the type of person to buy clothes and then just wear them right after i buy them so there are these like seven cities sweats from h&m um, so yeah, I'm throwing those on, and I'm gonna throw on my Nike sweatshirt. So, so nice and, like, wrinkly, because I washed it and stuff. But yeah, so, that's what I'm wearing today. Um, I need to, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go return those pants. And I'm probably going to go buy myself some lunch and just sit down and have a little chit-chat with you all. So give you some updates on what my life is consisting of and what's going to happen moving forward. I mean, nothing really big. <laughs> nothing really. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the bathroom to take down my curls. I have rollers in. And then we will hit the road. Okay, I'm back right before I leave, so I took my hair out. This is what it looks like. I put it on rollers. Um, I thought before I'd go, I'd show you actually what I bought though. Like the stuff that I'm keeping that I bought from the mall yesterday. So, I... Went to Forever 21. And I'm still debating if I like this top or not. I might take it with me to the mall because I might return it. Um... So it is this cute, this is not going to be like a full haul thing, no, but I'm just showing you. It's like this cute cheetah print, shimmery, glittery type top. It's like a button down and I got it in a size medium and it fits fine. It's just, I have a larger, I talk about this in all my hauls, I have a larger breast size and so the top just sticks out, like it hangs and it like, it just kind of looks weird so I might take this with me to possibly return it and maybe buy what I originally wanted to buy which was this cute 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 bodysuit it was a cheetah print bodysuit and it was nice and shimmery it was super cute I should have went with my first mind I always judge myself and like switch what I want and the only reason why I picked this was because it was like oh it's cheetah print it's shimmery and it's two dollars less than the bodysuit I should have just got the bodysuit. I might take it with me and get the bodysuit. Um, these were the trousers that I got. I saw them on the mannequin um, at H&M, and I really liked them. They're just straight leg trousers. Um, but I needed. I wear a size 10, and I got a size 8 just for shits and giggles. Um, and... I could put them on, I could button if I squeezed super tight, 
and zip them up. But I would have like a pudgy stomach. So I need a size 10. But they didn't have a size 10. So maybe if they have a size 10 there today, I might just exchange them for the size 10. But if not, I might just get my money back because... Yes, they're cute, but do I necessarily need them? No. And a uh, tip for you all, this is what my mother says. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. And right now, these pants and <laughs> that top from Fat, uh, Forever 21, though I bought them, it's feeling more like a hell no than a hell yeah. Um, so yeah, and then I, like I said, I got these pants. Um, H&M. And the reason why I went shopping in the first place was I went to Tilly's and y'all, I haven't shopped at Tilly's since I was in high school. I'm 22 years old. I probably haven't shopped at Tilly's since I was 16. And I'm not joking. I probably haven't shopped at Tilly's since I was 16 and I'm 22. But my little brother bought me the most amazing shoes. I'm showing you these shoes that he bought me for Christmas. I'll show you both pairs, but my little brother made me cry on Christmas morning. When I say cry, I wish someone would have got it on video because when I say cry, I cried because I was so happy. Give me a second. Unless I'm wearing like dress shoes, I usually wear Nike's Vans or Converse. Um, on the occasion, Adidas, but Nike's Vans, Converse. Those are my top three go-to pairs of sneakers and shoes. And so my little brother, being the amazing little brother he is, bought me two pairs of shoes for Christmas. So he bought me these Converse, these high tops. These are like a little baby blue high top. He bought me the most amazing pair of Vans ever. And these, the thing is, I've been wanting these pair of Vans for the longest time. I've been wanting them for so long. I, um, not the specific kind, but these are better than the ones that I originally wanted. But the same style. So I looked like back in August and they were like 90 bucks or 70. I don't know how much they were, but they're a lot. They're a dream. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to get them. I'm going to just wait, 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 wait. I come, he comes downstairs with my bag of gifts Christmas morning. I open these pair of vans. I ball my eyes out. Y'all, look. These weren't even on the Journey's website when I first originally looked for these. Because I love, I wanted a Velcro, Velcro pair. I wanted a Velcro pair, and the ones that I saw online were the all white. They were all white with the black little right here. It will, and then it was like the same white with the off the wall and written in black. Or they had an all black pair that were Velcro with a brown rubber sole-ish looking thing. Whatever this call is called. It was brown. And... But when I tell you I cried when I opened these, I cried my eyes out. These are my babies now. These are, I love Vans, y'all. Back to the pants I bought, or back to the what I bought at Tilly's, pants. So, because he bought me those Vans, I wanted some pants to wear with them. And you can't just wear anything with Vans, like, you really can't. So, I was like, I want a pair of trousers, just like black trousers, black cargo pants. And... Every time I like Google them and like the style that I wanted, they were Dickies. And I've never in my life worn a pair of Dickies before. And so I found this cutest pair of joggers, Dickies joggers. They were like slacks, like cargos. And then there was like joggers, like a version that was joggers. And I was like, oh my god, these are exactly what I want. I went, I looked on Zoomies, I looked on Tilly's, I looked at um, the Dickies website. I looked at so many different places to try to find them. And Tilly's didn't have them in store literally two days ago they didn't have them in store or something like that online i checked yesterday morning they had them well it said that they didn't have them for curbside pickup but that didn't mean they didn't have them so i was like okay i'm gonna just go out and go shopping and try to see if i can find them and i went there and the thing is dickies the ones that they sell at tilly's are juniors they're not like women's they're juniors so i was like oh i don't know but and their dressing, room, their dressing room was open, so I got to try them on before I um, left the store. But, oh my god, they're, I'll put a picture, since I'm not trying them on, I'll put a picture right here of what they look like. Um, so that you can kind of see the style, since I'm not putting them on right now. But, these are them. And, 
they are joggers so they have the little jogger ends they are a size 11 let's see if you can see that size 11 30 waist in juniors these are junior sizes guys um they're the most comforting comfortable pair of joggers ever it comes with this cute belt and they flatter me so well i was surprised because i didn't know if i was gonna be able to fit juniors like i know i was gonna be able to fit juniors i just didn't know what size so and i know i've been like losing weight lately so my mom told me to try size 13 um just to try for the time being because when i was in high school and she was buying me juniors hands y'all i used to be big i was big like i wasn't big big but I was big so when she when I was in high school and like right after high school when she was buying me if she bought me junior she'd be buying me like a size 15 um and so she told me since I went a size down in pants or like a couple sizes size couple sizes down in pants she was like try size 13 and I tried the size 13 and the size 13 was so big around my waist like if they fit in the pant like the legs pretty nicely like I kind of feel like I liked the way they fit in the pants in the size 13 than the size 11 the 11 isn't tight or anything I just feel like the old size 13 was a little more baggier and I kind of like that look but the waist was so 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 big like I pulled out the waist like pretty like at least this far I could pull out the waist and so when I buckled the belt because it's a little belt buckle when I buckled the belt it like made the waist smaller so i was like oh that's pretty cool i could do it but then i was like you know what let me not play myself and let me actually see if i can go down a size and see how it fits so i asked the lady to give me a new pair of pants she got me an 11 and they fit just perfectly okay guys so i just grabbed my food i went to burger king like i said and i got a chicken nugget with a large fry and a medium dr pepper So, I said I would come here and chit chat with you all. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, like I said earlier, I've just been very busy with school. I um, finished the semester with two features. Um, one was a rewrite, one was a new one, and then a television pilot. So I've just been super, super busy. I'm trying to make sure everything was done and ready for the next semester. Because this upcoming semester, I am rewriting my feature that I wrote. Um, oh my god, I'm sliding, man. Okay, I need to just switch angles. Um, but this semester, I am rewriting a feature and taking a playwriting class while also taking a film adaptation class. Um... So yeah, my life's just full of writing and it's just been very hectic and very busy. And then I came home and so being home while it's nice, it's not my workspace, you know? And then also, I don't know when I'm going back to LA because LA's on lockdown and I literally just got a notification saying that they um, extended it because cases keep rising. So... At the moment, I'm probably not going back to L.A. until, like, February. Um, so, my life's just up in the air right at the moment. I mean, I haven't been doing much. Like, it's COVID, it's quarantine. So, yes, the vaccine is out now, but The general public isn't going to have access to it till like, next, the end of next year, like, this time next year. So we're still big chilling. Um. Oh, I'm cutting my hair off, guys. I've decided. Um. Prior to my hair now. I had cut it. I cut it in 2017 and then wore it natural for two years. And then in 2019, I got a relaxer. And so I've been wearing a relaxer for the last year. Um, and a half ish. But I want to cut it again. 
So I'm going to cut it, shave it all off, and dye it. Um, random thought, do you guys eat, what do you guys eat with your nuggets and stuff at Burger King? Do you guys even eat at Burger King? I know people who think it's weird to eat at Burger King, but I love Burger King. I think their fries are the best. Um, I love their nuggets, and they're cheap. You can get a 10-piece nugget for $1.39 at Burger King. 10-piece nugget at McDonald's is like $4. Um, but yeah, so, I eat them with ranch. To answer the question myself, I eat my nuggets and stuff with ranch at Burger King. I wonder if this is going to be like some ASMR. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let's see. Um, I don't know if you can hear that, but, yeah, so I'm sitting in the way, 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 way back of the Home Depot parking lot, um, between the Home Depot and, like, an oil and lube place, <clears throat> so, just chilling. Mm. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, I do plan on making more movie commentaries. And I need to do them like now before I go back to school because school starts up in like two weeks. That was a bad nugget. Um, but... I was having this conversation with my parents last night, but I want to know what your guys' comfort movies are. To the few subscribers I have and whoever else finds this video, um, what's your comfort movies? Because I'm curious. I was talking about with my parents and stuff and like figuring out if we knew what each other's comfort movies were. Um, I'd say I have a few, like my dad's, everyone knows this, like, you can ask all my siblings this, my dad's comfort movie is Scream. Um, but, what is this? Ow! That didn't hurt, I just said ow. <laughs> didn't hurt. Do you guys do that? You hit yourself and it doesn't hurt, but you say ow anyways. I do that a lot. Um, but yeah. You guys should leave a comment. Um, comment your like top three comfort movies, and then if I haven't seen them, I should watch them for movie commentaries. Um, I have like a good ten comfort movies. Um, Trying to figure out where to set my ranch because the moment I set it on my knee, it's gonna fall and I'm gonna ruin my pants. Um, uh -uh. Again, if you haven't followed me on Letterbox already, you should follow me on Letterbox. I have a list of my comfort movies and my favorite movies and my favorite film franchises and. What else? Ooh, someone said movies with a dope soundtrack. Oh my god, who did that? Tiffany? Girl, yes. A Walk to Remember does have a dope soundtrack. I'm on Letterbox right now. Angus Thongs and Perfect Snoggings does have a dope soundtrack too. Any of the Step Up movies do also have a dope soundtrack. Anyways, let me do this. I'm going to my list so I can tell you guys my comfort movies right quick. Okay. If you ask any of my family members, they're going to tell you this off the bat, like, off rip. Holes is probably my number one comfort movie. I watch Holes all the time. Um, fun fact, though, it used to scare me. Um... Uh, 
I don't know what sound that was. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna redo these and then I'm gonna like go. And I'll see you guys when I get to the mall. But holes, yes. Um, all the Twilight movies. You can ask any girl probably, and her comfort movie is probably like the Twilight franchise. So that one, probably good comfort movies. Uh, the other sister with. Juliette Lewis, Diane Keaton, and Giovanni Ribisi. It's a great comfort movie for me. If you haven't seen it, I suggest that one. Mean Creek. If you've seen Josh Peck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a clip. But. <laughs> I love this movie. Um, but yeah, so Mean Creek is a comfort movie for me. Um... Just Right with Queen Latifah in common. That's a comfort movie for me. Because me and my mom used to watch that all the time together. And that was like my life's goal. Before I like got into films. Um, and like taking film more seriously. And getting into film school. I wanted to be a... When I was in high school. I wanted to be an orthopedic surgeon. And I wanted to go into sports medicine. So. And that's kind of what that film is about. But like it's a love story and stuff. And she's like. She's in, she's in sports medicine. That's her career you know. And then common plays for the Nets. And that's how they fall in love. She works for the Nets. Or like she's like a good sports medicine person. And she needs them. But yeah. That one's good. Titanic is great. Um, Stand By Me. Great. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. The Amazing Spider-Man 2. With um, Jamie Foxx as a villain. I love him as a villain. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea how excited I am. <laughs> Y'all, I was rudely interrupted. My camera shut off on me. And I don't even remember my last thought. And I'm so upset. Oh, I was talking about... Oh, okay. I remember now. I remember, I remember, I remember. Okay, so I was saying I love the... That one of my comfort films was The Amazing Spider-Man 2. And I literally love Jamie Foxx in that movie. And I'm so excited for this, like, Spider-Verse movie that they're coming out with. With Tom Holland, Andrew Garfield, um, and, uh, uh, uh... Uh, freaking Tobey Maguire. <laughs> okay, so I'm so excited for that film to come out, and they're bringing Jamie Foxx back as Electro as a supervillain, and I loved him in that movie because he was just a great villain to me. Like, he was the nerd, like, a Spider-Man obsessed, who just wanted to be, like, appreciated, and everyone passed him over, looked him over, and... He was just, he was great. He was a great villain. And I'm so excited that they're bringing him back. I'm excited they're bringing everybody back for this Spider-Verse movie. Like, I'm just so excited for this final. Because I'm pretty sure this is Tom Holland's last Spider-Man movie. But I'm just so excited. Okay, moving on to the rest of my uh, comfort films. Dumbo. I love Dumbo. That's probably, like, my favorite, uh, one of my top uh, Disney movies. A Bronx Tale. I love A Bronx Tale. If you've never seen it, watch it. It's great. Um, Transformers, the first and the second one, love them. Those are, like, my two top favorite Transformers movies. I don't really care for the rest of them. Bumblebee was good, but, like, Transformers, it's the first and the second one. And they're redoing Transformers. And I forgot the director, but whoever, I forgot what his name is, but he directed Creed 2. He's doing the new Transformers, so that should be interesting. Um, but, yeah... At the moment, those are all I can think of because those are the ones that are on my list. Um, also, there's a little thing for Soul. If you haven't watched Soul, watch it because it is fantastic. Um, don't watch Wonder Woman 1984. That movie was garbage. So, don't watch that. If you've already watched it, I know you probably didn't like it. I know you didn't like it if you already watched it. But if you liked it, I don't know. Good for you, but I hated it. Um, it was a horrible follow-up to the first movie, so that was depressing. Okay, I'm at the mall. Um, I'm at... It's a strip mall. If you live in Arizona, you know where I'm at. I'm at Santan. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go just return this stuff. 
it's just two things. I'm gonna return the top from Forever 21, and I'm gonna go re and I'm going to return the pants from H&M. Will I get something and replace the two? Probably not. Maybe in Forever 21. I don't know. I really don't feel like it. <laughs> just get my money back because the top from Forever 21 was like seventeen dollars. Trying to make sure I got the receipt. The top for Forever 21 was total $19.39. So $19.39 altogether. And then the total, I don't know how much because I bought two things from each time, but the pants were $29.99. So let's see. So we got 20. $29.99 plus $19.39. So, like, I'm getting back, like, a good $50, give or take. So, I'm probably not going to get anything in return for these because $50 at this point goes a long way. And I can put it back in my bank account. And save it for something else. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to get anything. I'm just going to return it. I returned, okay. <laughs> I returned the uh, pants from, the trousers from H&M. And ended up getting like 30 something dollars back. And then I went to Forever 21 and got to browse in and bought the original bodysuit that I wanted. And I found these shorts. So, Tia Maori had a... Uh, TikTok me and my mom watched like a week ago and she has some shorts on and they were super super cute and uh, I wanted some similar and Forever 21 had some similar if not the same ones but I'm pretty sure they're just this, like a really nice dupe for them and so I bought those so I ended up like returning and buying so I ended up spending 26 um yeah, at Forever 21. So I will show you those two things when I get home. Right now I have to go to the grocery store and purchase some cat food right quick. And probably just run into Walmart and get some. And then I go home. Because the yeah, girl has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I really need to go to the bathroom. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom. I thought I I was trying on the stuff I bought, so I thought I'd show you guys what I bought, what I ended up getting from Forever 21 in exchange for that top. So I ended up getting these um, shorts. They're like pleather, high waisted. They're just a zipper and they button. Um, yeah, zipper and button. And then they have a cute belt that goes with it. And then I got this bodysuit that's like cheetah print. It's cheetah print and it's shimmery. Um, so yeah, so it's cheetah print and it's shimmery. Um, it's got like a thin layer on the inside so it's not the same on the inside which is good because it's itchy on the outside so it would have sucked if it was itchy on the inside but yeah so these both came from forever 21 and they're both the size large um yeah so super cute i'm going out to i should be supposed to be going to hang out with a friend tomorrow so if i do i'll probably wear these shorts and a turtleneck probably the one that i got from fashion nova for my haul um, I wouldn't wear these two together because they just don't go together. But just for the sake of trying this stuff on, I just was like, I'll put it on. But yeah, so those are what I got. Um. Yeah, so I think I'm going to end the vlog. Well, hmm. Yes. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I know it wasn't a lot, but I thought I would give you guys something since I hadn't been vlogging for like a month and a half-ish. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for 
tuning in with me just for a quick second. Um, I know, it was, like I said, it wasn't much, but thank you anyways. Thank you for 60 subscribers. And yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.